It's so crazy that this used to be how this resort would communicate with the outside world. And we have to figure out where all these wires go or no one will have internet here. Is that the supercomputer? I'm hacking into the mainframe. I think I broke through it. I think you can just get like one modern modem for this place. No, nah, we have to figure this out. Or there's no other way. Save money and fix this. You're such a millennial. Wow. Oh, we got two free modems? <laughs> this is gonna be great. Uh, we're just exploring this building. Sorry for the lack of light. We don't have electricity in here. What's in More supercomputers from back in the 60s. Back in the early 2000s. What do these do? They just like are routing these wires around everywhere. I mean, you would understand you're not a hacker like me. Oh my gosh. That's oh, a... Somebody didn't flush the toilet? There was a super dump over there. What's this though? I don't know, but yeah, check this out. Oh. <laughs> That's IT nerd poop in there. Yeah. This place is, how do you say, fruitful. <laughs> oh! What, what, what is it? No way. Holy cow. No way, dude. There's just a freaking beautiful, is it a Datsun? How do you know what it is? Yeah, it's a Camaro. It's a 280Z. Holy, 1977. Holy. Uh, okay, it's still shiny. Dude, it's so shiny and pretty. There's, Matt, there's no way we missed this. We haven't been in here yet. Dang, look at this freaking car that we just found all by accident. Insane. It's a heck of a centerpiece they had in here. Man, first the El Camino and now this? Something smells fishy. Uh, that's some goat poop. That's just goat poop. I bet back in the day, this thing was uh, fast. Those plates came out in like 2014. Sense. Okay. This is a 1977. Right, yeah, 77. By the way that it is. By the way that it is. Look, Matt. What? September 22. Sticker expired. Oh, back in the 70s, you could get 40 year stickers. Okay. That's yeah, a Texas no, And thing. you needed the registration and the title of two different stickers. Until like five years ago. How do you explain that? Um, well. Uh, yeah, uh huh. Uh -huh. That's that, some things can't be explained. Even the interior's nice. Yeah, even the interior's nice. Yeah. Man, this thing is cherry. Like, what if the keys were just in it somewhere? Right. Why did you, you check the uh, the sunshade? No! Oh, dude, what? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, there's keys in it. That's Are you insane. Being oh. Holy cow! This just keeps on getting better, dude. It, it could. Let me guess. The title's gonna be. In here could not be any better. Oh, that's, you told me that'd be crazy. No, dude. I mean, we might as well check. Yeah. No! Oh, there's a title. Oh my god, and it's signed. This is cr who signed it. I it's, it couldn't read it. It's, it's, just, it's a signature. It's scribble, dude. Yeah. What's crazy is my brother had a car just like this. Drewski did have a car just like yeah, this. Drewski, I wonder what happened. Drewski, Drewski. I don't. I mean, he wishes he probably still had it. It's I wonder if his uh, registration expired. Serendipitous. It's pretty crazy that there's so many things work out in our favor. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. What? There's a Desperado uh, Ranch shirt in here. How do you explain that? Whoa. Maybe back in the 70s they knew what was to um, come with this place. Yeah, right. They had a vision. A vision. I'm having a vision. They of, had a vision. A premonition, if you will. That's crazy. A premonition vision. It's, it's destiny that this is happening. Yeah, this thing's probably been sitting in this room for 40 years. There's tracks. Yeah, place. from 40 years ago. Yeah, no one's been in here. This has been untouched The goats by have been in here. You have like six videos about it. Prove it. That could prove. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's what's crazy is like if they used to the office out here, they had to figure out where to put their desks so they didn't interfere with this thing. The key fits. What if. Can you imagine if like. What if? <laughs> what if what? What if it just what? cranked? <laughs> I mean, there's no way the gas is still good. So it's. Yeah, I mean, I just. Cool. The battery can't be, can't be good. <gasps> oh. It's, it's got battery? No, no way. Yeah, no way. What? Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what? That is crazy! <laughs> Yeah, 
carbon monoxide poisoning. Stop running a car inside, man. Dude! God, oh. Let me out! <laughs> See? Obviously, we didn't put it in here. They built the building around it. Can't, can't even get it out. Really? Pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if we can figure out a way to get it out, which is going to be hard. We have no idea how to get it out because they put it in 40 years ago. Yeah, we got to see if this thing is roadworthy. Oh, yeah, look. Hey, are these bricks like perfectly spaced, like wheelbase apart from each other? There's no way. Maybe they've been there for 40 years. They knew. The 70s are more than 40 years ago, man. I'm not sure if that's true. <laughs> I wouldn't have the patience for doing this. That's how you know I didn't do this. Yeah, that would have given up a long time. I would have quit. Those, those look like cat scratches. Oh. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> Can you believe he found you that in the, there? You helped him put that in there, didn't I you? I did not. You this is him. crazy. This you is help. crazy. Say you put. This say you crazy. helped him. No. That was legit, Nip. Nineteen seventy-seven Datsun two eighty Z. Now the Datsun two eighty Zs had big, ugly safety bumpers on them. This one's got a nice, thin, streamlined. This thing looks good. It looks closer to a two forty Z. Freaking JDM cars of that era. So cool. So we got this beautiful Datsun with its inline six. It's freaking nice. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give it away to you guys. I mean, just so happens that we found keys, title. And it works. Just big coincidence. So we thought, let's let's do a giveaway. So this month only, until Christmas, if you buy any Demolition Ranch shirt, hoodie, or hat, you're going to be entered into winning this car. And if you sign up for our monthly subscription, you get double the entries. This is this month's subscription shirt. It's pretty sweet. Just a Swiss Army knife with pew pews. So link to the description below. We will run this until Christmas, and one of you guys will drive away in this car, um, plus $2,000 because there is some frame damage on this thing. It's rusted out. I had a mechanic tell me it'd be under $2,000 to totally patch it, make it good, but it is completely drivable the way it is. It just probably should be fixed before it's driven across the country. So otherwise, a very nice, nearly new tires, which is crazy for being as old as they definitely are. Mm -hmm. They look brand new and are brand new besides the little burnout marks. They're not old. I mean, they're like 40 years old, but they're brand new. <laughs> Look at this thing. Pretty nice interior. I mean, it's a classic. They came here for the resort though. You guys want to see what we're doing today? We have a lot of work ahead of us. All right, link in the description below. Get you a Datsun. While y'all washing, watch him. He gonna make it to a bins out of that Datsun. Wait, that means the Datsun's the flow of the low. Kanye doesn't know what he's talking about. The railroad sides are now 10 feet high. We're done building. Now the plan is we fill in all the dirt there. We're going to keep trying to just smooth it all out. See, we dug out some big chunks over here. 
So now it's just clean up. We're freaking done. And this thing looks so good. So we'll be able to set cars in here, targets in here. Anything that might explode can go in here. Let it explode in here. Contains everything. It's literally the best thing ever. How'd that get up there? All right, check this out. We got tables, so we're gonna have pistols on that side, rifles on this side, pistols shortened close side over there. I'll kill you. We have all of our Caldwell targets right there. Appreciate them for helping us out. We have TCRT targets over on that side, on the pistol side, they're rubber. And got our freaking tables lined up. We're just cleaning up, whoa, whoa. We're just cleaning up over here a little bit more stuff. Um, we have round tables we're gonna put up there for the eating. Burma's done enough, you can see it's it's not nice. And then we're gonna come put brown dirt still. I keep saying that every time. I, just, I can't wait till it's like covered in dirt and grass is growing on it, but for now, it's base. Ah! Sorry, they're throwing rocks at me and they need to be beat up. I'll be back, I'll be right back. I need this illusion in my life. <laughs> we're saying the Humvee looks so tiny, but then when someone walks up there, yeah, it's just our berm is freaking huge. It's big enough. I've seen bigger. We got ammo all in here, ready for tomorrow. We got chairs, we're gonna set those things up tomorrow. We have trash cans, we just picked all these up. I brought our two golf carts, just in case. We have two generators, there's one, we have another one on the other side of that. I'm trying to figure out what the hell else I need. There's gotta be something I'll forget, but I think we are freaking ready for the first ever range day out of the Desperado range. And we have a good list of people who have confirmed that they're coming <laughs> the problem is we have like a hundred influencers people who have said yeah I'll be there the problem is a lot of them we don't know and so if they come they're probably gonna bring someone else maybe a cameraman maybe a significant other maybe a couple buddies so like if they come they're probably gonna bring one to three to four people each so it's like if all 100 of them come there might be 400 people that are actually here but also they're youtubers so there's a decent chance they'll flake out. The ones we don't know, they might be like, yeah, that sounds awesome. And that was a month ago and then it comes today and they're like, oh shoot, I forgot to book plane tickets. So then like half of them won't come, but the ones who do come will all bring way more people. So we have no idea how many people are coming tomorrow. Anyway, I'm nervous. Uh, this is gonna go on the Demolition Ranch channel uh, because it's gonna be a lot of pew pews, machine guns, a lot of that kind of content. So I just thought you guys might wanna see the setup. The range is ready for its first big test. This is so cool. We got a couple vendors who have already showed up to start setting stuff up, which super cool. That's CMMG down there. Appreciate all the guys who are like, yeah, Matt, y'all are doing your first range day? We want to be a part of it, we want to help. The guys are super cool for, yeah, putting a little, little faith in us, trying to figure this whole thing out and figure out how we're going to do this. I want to hear y'all's opinion on this. This is a 20 foot tall berm. Why couldn't we shoot at both sides of it, right? I don't see a reason to not shoot at both sides of this thing. Everybody's gonna be like, well, you're shooting toward other people, but there's a 20 foot berm in between you. So there's, that's actually, if you're right there, you can't hit them. It's literally the hardest place to hit somebody. So we're thinking about putting, you know, some pistol bays on the back side of the berm too. Just so we don't have to have another berm somewhere else. It seems safe. What are your thoughts on that? Don't forget, if you want a chance to win a freaking piece of JDM history, Little Japanese 1977 Datsun. Link in the description below. Get you some merch and you might just drive home in this beauty. Thanks for watching. I love you. Who the heck is that? <laughs>